man was a terminal pessimist, but he wasn't wrong. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. We've got clearance for a straight-in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. And I've already set us up in landing configuration, at 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around 65 knots, change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. SOP dictates we go around and try our approach again. Don't worry, you'll get it with practice. Whoa, what? We failed. What did My we first fail? instructor used to say the best part of flying is landing in one piece. The man was a terminal Maybe pessimist, but he wasn't wrong. Today, you're in overshot. charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. We've got clearance for a straight-in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. And I've already set us up in landing configuration, at 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around 65 knots, change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Once we pass the threshold, shift your aim point to the end of the runway. Then, pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Coming in low! Tough to pull off. My first instructor used to say the best part of flying is landing in one piece. The man was a terminal pessimist, but he wasn't wrong. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. We've got clearance for a straight in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. And I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to, 
and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, hey, well, then what's you're too going high. on, Blue? You are watching a... You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent. Not a train you'll wreck, also need to it's push a plane wreck. Trim to change your attitude I have been dying the same in speed. tutorial. I'm still in tutorial. I am doing the landing tutorial. I've already crashed once. It's going real bad. Let me know if the sound and all that mic stuff's good, but... We're gonna loosen up that throttle, boy. We're going in hot. How do I delete this game? Keep your aim point on the runway. Oh, I got it. it. What when you're 10 feet above that? the runway, it's time to flare. 30. Once we pass the threshold, shift your aim point to the end of the runway. Okay. Then pull back slightly on the yoke to aim we the nose just above it. We made progress. This is new. Gonna bring her on in, boys. Clean landing. Okay, Clean. we're past the threshold. Start the flare. Start the flare. Turn the flare. Keep pulling back slowly. Let the plane settle onto the runway. Don't push it down, but don't let it start oh, climbing. Oh fuck, it's pushing me down! No! Damn it! Ah. So, yeah, with the Turtle Beach headset, it's the real deal. And there goes another plane. That's, uh, I don't know if we've been having a death counter. But, uh, I think we're up to like eight deaths in the tutorial now. My first instructor Total. used to say the best part of flying is Try it again. in one we, piece. 30 percent The man was a terminal pessimist, hot. but he wasn't wrong. Today, you're in charge of bringing we'll us in for a safe a landing. Bit. We'll get over there. We'll go full throttle. We've got clearance for a straight-in approach, so we don't have to complete Jeez the standard traffic bit. pattern. And I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with Scary 10 coming of flaps in. and idle power. You beat code vane? How We're was that last now. boss? Maintain was it the end or was it five knots. more bosses? Change your pitch if you need to and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. <laughs> if it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're That's coming it. in low. To add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, okay. well, then you're too high. We're looking you'll need pretty to add good. To We're coming your in rate hot. Of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change okay, your attitude gotta, and maintain the same speed. Gonna throttle us down 30 percent. At least 30. Flaps engaged. There's optional boss, but that was a... Okay, nice. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. It was okay. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. I still think... Once I like we pass the, the threshold, better. shift your aim point to the end okay, of the runway. Okay, we're coming in nice and slow. Then I'm gonna throttle down. Then pull to aim the nose just above it. 24% throbs. Coming in light. Do not okay, wanna... Okay, we're past the threshold. Start the flare. Starting the flare, light flare, light flare, light flare. Keep pulling back slowly. Let the plane settle onto the runway. Don't push it down, but don't let it start got climbing. Got it, got it. I got to throttle nice. down. Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Throttles down. We're just slowing her down. We're going to apply the brakes. Number lock, zero. Here we go. Brakes are applied. Is that a clean land? Great job. As That's they a clean say, land. Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. But if you can use the plane the next day, it's outstanding. Landings can be hard, even for seasoned pilots. Trust me, don't hesitate to practice.
After all, that's what we're here for, right? Nice. Woo, we did it. We died a few times, but we did it. Uh, God, how do I delete Covain? Yeah, the I should have went magic. Um, okay, uh, let me just check. This is traffic pattern. I want to see how many more left we have. I just want to see how much more tutorials left. We've done a few. We've done a few. The landing and the taking off was the the tricky part. All right. So we did that. Boom, boom, landing. I'm not worried about maneuvering, about maneuvering around traffic patterns for a solo flight. We can just actually do that now. I think we're ready. You know, I'm a basic pilot, but with the tutorial that I learned, I think I'm ready to go and attempt to fly around the world. All right. Um, as for the plane, Blue, what should we go as? I'll let you pick. There's quite a bit of... Let me see here. Just keep moving down. I, okay, it keeps moving down, I think. All right, yeah, there's more. Hold on, you can go uh, propeller. Airline, airliner. Not doing an airliner. There's no way that will be for a, another time. But there's a lot of propeller planes. There's a couple turbo planes. There's the jet. Airliner. Well, we won't even make it. Let's do like this has got to be a real run, Blue. Come on. This. Then we'll do the fun runs after. Take the. The 747, the Area 51, we'll storm Area 51. Okay, so here we go. This is all the planes we have uh, available. I do like the blue one here. I haven't taken it out yet, but I clicked on it. It's been, looks cool. I don't know. You want Airbus, come on. I'd say we go with the blue one. It's a nice looking plane, unless you like the prototype. Max altitude, 15,000. There's a couple cool ones down here. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know. What do you think? For, for the at least our first run, propeller planes. What looks what looks good? What are you thinking? Anyone uh, looks good to you? Because we'll do it. There's quite a few, though. There's quite a few. Yeah, so this is going to be coming the Series X, and uh, I don't know if it's coming. I don't think it's coming the Xbox One, like the original. I think it'd probably be Series X, maybe One X. The blue one? Alright, we're going blue. Blue for blue. Alright, uh... Okay, so... Depart... Uh... Hold on. We want to arrive where I'm at. Let's go London messing up this keyboard sucks Ontario it's got to bring up something I 
Wait a minute. Is it not there? We gotta, let's see if I can find it here. We'll go to the world map. Zoom it in. Here we go. There's Detroit. So Windsor, see Detroit and Windsor blue. You were I don't even. You were talking like you didn't know where Windsor was. It's right there, Detroit, Windsor. Um, uh, and then I think there's there's London. There's Lundy. So set this as arrival. Okay. Blue, where, where, where are you from? We might as well, g let's go from blue to, uh, to my location. Hit me up in the chat, we'll look it up. You can't be too far. Just get the Cumsy Mills. Just give me the closest one you think, uh, You'd be at, and we'll take a trip. Take at least one trip out. Okay, Blue. I'm waiting. There's that Twitch delay, I think, but this is cool, though, how you can just zoom out of the map. Whoa! Go to Southwest Michigan. Am I close to anything here? Can I search it? Uh, hold on. Uh, Wait, where did everything go? I just searched it and it vanished. Michigan City, Norm's Michigan City. Can you do a custom? You could do actually a custom. Try it three rivers. Come out, Kokomo, Fort Wayne. There's a Southwest Michigan, Michigan City, Chicago's. So where, where was the one uh, we we're looking at, Blue? Is it three rivers right here, this one? Three rivers it is.
So I wonder if this is like a real time or what. So flight conditions we can kind of mess around with. We can actually do live weather. So we can actually do it like right now. So there's like group flying in this game as well. You can actually have other people fly with you, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's real live air traffic. All right, I think we're all set. Flying, flying high again. So I can save mid trips too. So I can like if we get up in the air I can save, make a checkpoint, so we can keep all the progress in case something bad happens, but this is gonna be cool. This is cool man. Like again, I can try flying low. But uh we'll see if we if you can see any land marks or anything. I'll try flying low. Kilo Hotel Alpha, India Traffic Diamond Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra taking off runway 27 East departure. Oh wow. Here we are, Blue. We're looking good. Live conditions from where you are. Here we go. Oh, look at this view. Wow. That's, let me take a look around here. is pretty good I think it's all it's all custom inside uh, inside uh, and out to every plane like all custom uh, cockpits everything this one's a little different from that other one we were using this is all oh there's even a live live uh, tracker that's cool all right now this puppy's a little different. Power level left, power level right. What kind of plane did we get? I do not like how I have to uh, mess with the, the throttles. Okay, here we go, press F. Throttle R is up. Throttle is up. Parking. Brake is coming off in three, two, and one. Looking for a clean takeoff today. You can also switch uh, views as well. Remember, a gentle takeoff. That was a little rocky, but uh, I will take that retract landing gear with the G button, landing gear coming up. We are swinging back. I might even go into the other, uh, hold on. Like you can't see much in this damn cockpit. This is. Brutes. Brutes. But we gotta do a quick turn. I don't know if anything looks familiar familiar to you, Blue. Looks like a lot of 
a lot of farmlands out here. All right, uh, we're swinging. We're getting back to the waypoint. This plane's not too bad. It's it's a beaut. I got a liner up though. Then I'll switch out of the camera. I wish I don't know if there's like an instant camera view. We track flaps. Flaps coming in. And uh, we're gonna liner on up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of the. I wish I don't know if there's a a button to actually switch on and off. I, I'm gonna have to look that one up later. So here we go. I'll have to check if there's a command for that. There it is. Oh gee, accidentally brought out the landing gear again. So up top, uh, left, is our waypoint. Uh, we're gonna line her on up. We're pretty much locked in. And uh, it looks looks good. Looks real good. And there we go. I don't know if I should adjust the sound too much. If that's too loud for you to stream, let me know. But, uh, yeah, we're off. We're, we're going. Everything looks pretty good. We're lined up. I don't know how long the trip's going to be. Yeah, I would love to know if there's a command. I'm going to just double check if there is a, a camera command. I'd love to just pop in and out now and then. Um, I just want to see if there is one. Um, let's go. Just like toggle, uh, like the cockpit. Wonder if there is one. Uh, camera, hold on. Uh, toggle slew mode. Cockpit. Okay, uh, end. End button. Okay, let's try it out. Sweet! set to go. Yeah, this is very cool. I'm just kind of messing around zooming in. Some kind of city down here, town. Landmark and interest, so if you had asked, you could kind of do stuff. That's cool though, we're flying. ASMR. I can fly low if you want. Hold on to it. We should maybe save this. Let me make a quick save here. Uh, call it London. Replace it. Done. We're going to fly. We'll fly low. We'll get in low here.
will fly around through the field. There's a crop circle up here. Alien. What the game? Whoa! We're dead. But you're lucky I made a backup save before all that happened. I was... That was rough. I was trying to take it slow, but I think I, I had to th drop the throttle a bit. We were going in way too fast. I can fix that. I was going down low, and I think the, the th with having full throttle, it just couldn't, couldn't handle it system blew up crapped out but I think we got our save though let's let's uh, see if it works as long as the save works I think we'll, we'll have to just do it now and then make sure we save but we're still good we're lucky we got that save in when we did but that was, uh, that was disgusting. Alright, let's try this puppy again. God. Yeah, the load times are pretty lengthy on my computer, though. They, they are pretty juicy because there is some live real-time stuff. I'm going to go I'm gonna go in the cockpit mode, Blue. I'll take her down slow. I'm going to throttle us down a bit. Got it to around. We'll go 40. That's like a light 40. It's not a lot of juice, but we'll try to get real low here. So you gotta watch it because sometimes something bad can happen. And fry out and we might go down. No, it's looking good now. It's looking good now. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy and, and bring us in low. I don't wanna go too too fast. I think this I think this plane has a lot of torque to it. If I have two different throttles I have to do at the same time. I think we picked this freaking like speed propeller plane that uh Oh wow, look at this, coming up, here we go. There we go. There's some traffic out there. Yeah, this looks nice though, for what it is, if, it, if everything's smooth. A little frame ratey. Sometimes it does catch up on my computer a bit. Can you find like where you are live? No? 
gonna actually save again. I'm just gonna make sure I'm saving a bunch. like any maps I can bring out and no, but we're on track let me check uh, might bring us up a bit on power up a little bit. Um, that was weird. I don't know. I kind of wish it would like pop up like uh, Sea of Thieves, like here you made it to uh, this town or this city or something. If you just fly over it, that'd be cool. So you could actually know, you know? Yeah, all I know is we're, we're still in London. And fuel says 47% in the bottom. I hope we're not running out of fuel anytime soon. Everything's looking pretty good. Flying pretty low. Looks nice. Yeah, I kind of wish they would do that though. Like if you fly near like a town or something, it pops up. That'd be pretty cool. somewhat fly a plane apparently. I did not know I have had the skills to do it. Actually gotta get back on course here. We're kinda kinda going to the left a bit. We gotta bring us back. Yeah, so I don't know how long these trips are, like if you can speed it up or if you fly the whole damn trip. I'm thinking you probably have to fly the whole uh, travel uh, destination journey because they want it like a simulator. I don't think they want you to fast travel to them. Real-time weather looks good. It looks exactly like what it is out there. That's cool. Yeah, just drink it in. This is really cool, boys.
And the, the group flying, I heard, was pretty uh, awesome. Like, you can group up, fly together like a squadron. <laughs> Do a little rogue squadron. Probably gonna make saves every once in a while, just so. Uh, wonder if there's a quick save button somewhere, but I'd rather just be safe on, uh, on the journey, so we don't uh, lose like a hour worth of flying or something. Yeah, this is not bad. This is pretty cool. Yeah, there's actually a lot of uh, simulator games out there. I don't really play too many simulators, but I know there's like truck simulator, taxi simulator, there's like everything out there nowadays. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. I don't know how, like, if, you, like, if we can bring up the map and see where we are or what. I don't know how that works. Yeah. So we can't really pinpoint where the hell we are right now. Somewhere over Michigan. So many, uh, there's so many fields out here. Same with out, out uh, up here in Canada. There's so many fields. It's crazy. A lot of farmland too up here. like a meditating kind of game, you just kind of take it in, there's not too much going on.
nautical miles, it looks like 168 nautical miles. It's going fairly quickly. Oh, there we go, Blue. There's a highlight, Midway. Do you know where that is? I don't know. And you can hit the S button and zoom in on it a bit. So there we go, so, some uh, locations it shows you. Not everything. I don't know, I don't know what, where Midway is. But maybe you do, who knows. So we're swinging by there. Going right over top of it anyways. So a little highlight, little highlights on the way, sightseeing stuff. There it is, midway coming up. Alright, so there's some stuff. Yeah, so we got we got quite a ways to go. We're like this could be another 45 minutes. Midway. Battle for Midway. Here. Please acknowledge. All right. Well, that was kind of cool, but we're still quite a ways to go here. Forty-six percent on the fuel. I think we'll be fine. I might speed up. Well. Yeah, we're taking it easy. I could, uh, I got both engines if I want. I can go like that. We'll do a little faster speed there. Someone's following and I, I missed it. Who did I miss? Some weird name. Uh, thanks for uh, calling. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a bot. He hasn't said anything in chat. He don't say anything in chat. Most likely a bot. I'd have to change the look of the text on some of that. It looks a little dark. Something I'll have to look into, maybe. Let's take a look, peek here. Hundred and sixty to go. We're going. I I'm more worried about landing this plane in London Blue because we're talking double engines. I'm gonna have to line up the strat the the strip, which I'm gonna have to find out on my own. And uh, definitely gonna be making a, a save. I do not want to blow up on the ramp and have to redo all everything. That would be awful. But if we can at least line it up, get a save in, I think I'll be... I can land this puppy. Let's just say I can land it. Land it on the first try. I want to place your bets on that. But Now, Blue, can you imagine the 747? 
imagine the 747 flying uh, flying through this puppy. Like that would be. I think the 747 would be extremely hard to land. Like this, a little easy. Just throttle down, get the nose up a bit. As for the 747, that is dangerous. And I'm sure we'll have bonus streams where I'll just do a fun run around the world somewhere. Try to control that beast. going off course here a bit. Yeah, looking good though. Like all the detail on this game looks amazing. I bet he, I bet if you had like a really good PC, this would look pretty, even better. But it still looks pretty good for what it is. I think I'm running high setting, not the ultra or anything. I'm running on high. Gonna make another quick save. We haven't saved in a bit. Wanna lock in another save. Just in case. Recognize the name, Williams Field, coming on up. Going right over it. Again, I have no idea. I'll know some of the Canadian landmarks, but if you do not know Williams Field, you're just flying over it. Never heard of her. <laughs> yeah. Are we even playing a real game? I thought this was a simulator. Sounds like a lot of fake names over here. I don't even think it exists. At all. Grab a drink. We almost, we almost lost her. 
Coming on back, hold on. He almost lost her. At least I got my drink. Williams, he almost crashed in Williams Field. You do not want that curse. You do not want that curse. You're not first, you're last, Ricky. I wonder where DJ is. He'd love this. This is this. I think DJ would love this. Actually, we're back on track. We're good. We're getting there. It's, we're going quick, actually. I could boost engine one and two up a little bit more if we really want to speed it up. Okay, I'm going to engage engines one and two. We're going to go up a little bit. I'm pumping her. We are now Charlie's Angels, full throttle. Let's go. So I've been uh, I've been looking at uh, game of the year stuff. I have my list uh, for game of the year pretty much complete. Uh, the only thing I don't know, guys, yet is when I'm get, what I'm gonna do to put it out. Is it gonna just be like a 10 second video? Here's the games, or if it's just I don't know. So we'll figure something out on YouTube. It might just be a list with music, or I might flip through screenshots or something and just do another countdown but uh i'll have something soon for uh the late game of the year 2020 stuff and uh should be good full throttle he's ready to watch the bonus features early thing dvd commentary Game kind of reminds me a little bit of a uh, uh, Kerbal Space Program. Build spaceships, get it up in there. If you ever watched me back in the day do that, it did not go well. It did 
not go well. I think they're coming out with a, a sequel to that. Oh boy, so yeah, once I get through with this, uh, I'm pretty much done with all my 2020 games, other than there was one game I, I never did get to, it was Half-Life Alex, the VR, but uh, but who knows, maybe sometime down the road I will play Half-Life Alex VR on uh, PC. It might be, it might be fun doing a run through of that. The computer seems to be holding up pretty fine with Microsoft Simulator, other than a few chug spots and hitches, but uh, everything looking good. And then we do have the bonus game which will probably be my next game. There's actually two games I could go back to. So there's um, the bonus one for on Nintendo Switch, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Kind of excited about that. And then there's also um, uh, what is it? Um, Dead Space 3 which I really wanted to play with Blue Co-op because that would have been amazing. But I might do a single player or just a rando co-op run through the story. That would be fun to do. And I have not played Dead Space 3 in a very long time and I did like it. So there's that. Um, and then, uh, that's about it. Hitman 3 comes out next week. Excited about Hitman 3. Very excited. And, uh, that does it for gaming. There's not too much more I'm gonna be... gonna be doing, really. But I think Hitman 3 will, will last us a little bit. Now that we kinda got through most of all the games. Uh kind of nice. And then hockey starts tonight, Blue. So, um, might have to do a... Uh, Rob, remember how Rob was talking about the sleezer last night? I might have to go for a sleezer run for the big hockey game tonight. It's like Maple Leafs, Montreal, COVID, uh, hockey on ice. It's going to be good. It's COVID on ice tonight. Big game. Can't wait. Whoa, someone's up there. Aliens, aliens. We found aliens. What is it's an orb? What is that? That's an orb. We found aliens. Confirmed. That ain't another plane, that's an orb. I know an alien when I see it. I know an alien when I see one. That is another alien. Wow. Third planet invaded. I'm gonna have to get a YouTube video send this in. That is an orb moving at high speed. High speed orb. That is not another plane. That is a high speed orb. Wow. It took off. Can't believe that. We're getting abducted. That's a live sighting. Either. Coming in. I don't know if you know this one either, Blue. 
This sounds like a no-name. So our first live alien alien sighting. Live, too. Uh, it was a little blurry, but I'm going to send it in. First live alien sighting. That's good. Wow. I believe. There's a big ass circle coming in. See that? Look at that. That's not alien. Let me save. There's been a lot of alien sightings. We gotta report this. Holy cow. Things are getting real. What could have made that? That's not human. Earth couldn't have done that. There's something going on. Look at that. What is happening? What? Lucky I saved. I overstressed the vehicle looking down at a crop circle. So we're down again. Aliens got us. But I will get a save, load back up. Don't actually know what happened because it was kind of steady. So I might, ha might have to throttle down a bit. I think the throttle is... Uh, there's too much power to that puppy. We gotta put her down. I found the truth and I died. Aliens are out there. I believe. All right, we should be fine. You're lucky I'm saving now and then because this is like, this is kind of scary that you can just kind of die like that, systems overload. I think we were, um, maybe a hundred nautical miles out as well so we're actually we're actually fairly close to the end here as long as we can just keep it up thing is you got to really watch the plane though when you're doing these trips like with the wind and stuff you're always moving okay let's see if we can okay there's the giant crop circle i'm not gonna go you were 62 miles southeast
No, we're not there yet. I'm gonna resave there because we're out of that. There was like a problem there I fixed. Got us out of that bad situation. It was like, I don't know if we were interfering with another, uh, out of control. We haven't made it to Canada yet. Not yet. I think we're close? We gotta be close, right? I see a runway down there. Another airport, maybe? See the lights? I don't know what that is. Coming up on it soon. We're on a steady path right now. It looks like it's far back here, maybe Canada. I'm just eyeballing it, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna fly over this airport and hopefully they don't dig me or take me down or kill me instantly. I'm gonna chance it. That's the Detroit Metro. Wait a minute. Like, it, like I haven't had the touch of the controls in a while, which is nice, like I got it locked in. Like perfect speed, perfect altitude. We're just booking.
straight here, 100 nautical miles left to go. This is big. This is real big. This is a long flight. This is a real long flight. This is real time, Blue, how long it would take to fly to London. It's a long trip. Other than the planes we lost, I think we went down and died three times or something now, but other than that, not a bad trip. 99. Looking good. Something big coming up over there. That big circle left behind. And we're gonna make it. Yeah, and then once once we uh But um, yeah, once we uh, make it to uh, London here and hopefully land, I'll probably call it a stream. Because it was actually pretty, pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, there's different fog champs every day now. They, they do it on the or something. I guess, right? Yeah, we're flying nice. There. This is like a perfect flight. No turbulence or anything. Diamond X ray golf the era, please acknowledge. I haven't seen any uh like of those uh, markers lately. So I can't tell you where we are. I can't even tell you if we flown over to Canada yet. Canada yet. Oh, down there. Diamond X-ray off the air. Did you copy? Xbox, if you if you just did multi though, I think this would be they somehow got multi up and running. That would be the coolest thing. But it's more this this game seems like it's more of a chill out game once you get it going. You just kind of wanna there's not too much else going on. It's like Sea of Thieves out in the water by yourself. Not much going on until bam. Something happened. Yeah, this is this is like the full real trip though. Um, who knows? Maybe you can speed it up, but I'm gonna make a quick quick save. Uh, just in case.
yeah, and then uh, trying to think what else, uh, what else uh, is coming out on Twitch for me. Um, well, YouTube, maybe I'll have all the Rainbow Six Siege, I'll get all that together. Uh, after the game of the year stuff, I'll put all the highlight game clips, sort them out, and then put them in like a epic flow. Yeah, these, these guys are like hammering next door, so I gotta watch my mic go on mute now and then. They're like pounding the hell out of the apartment next door. the Mass Effect Trilogy Remastered, they're saying it comes out for March, so a few months away if you yeah, for a Mass Effect Remastered Trilogy, that sounds actually pretty good, a lot of value, that's, that's like over 100 hours, maybe 150 hours worth of gameplay with all the DLCs, maybe like 300, who knows? Uh, so that Rob, you know, Rob's gonna get in on that. That should be, should be good. He, Rob should twitch that. Uh, and then they, and they were saying, uh, Blue, uh, that Ontario here might be going into a full lockdown. Uh, what is it, Thursday night? So. Uh, that's gonna be something. Just gotta hang on through all this COVID shit. If it goes away, I don't know if it's going away. Doing more lockdown stuff now. Cutting hours, all that stuff, but it's not doing anything. They keep saying it gets worse, even though all this stuff's on lockdown. Who knows?
I wonder, uh, I wonder what the night flying would look like in the, how cool it would be at, like, uh, like, one in the morning, two in the morning, if, the, if there's a lot of stars and stuff that you can see, I wonder if that would, uh, change it up a bit. I don't recognize any of these places either. So this game has like some kind of geo mapping live. So it knows all this stuff, satellites, everything's like pretty much real. This is crazy. Wouldn't see too much. Yeah. I don't know, I thought maybe at night, but this is cool though. I like seeing it like alive as it is during the afternoon. January 13th, 2021. Doing a good old fly around. Doing the afternoon here ish. Um, we're getting close. We gotta be getting close. 70. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think once we get to 50, I'll make another save. Another hard save. Yeah, like seeing like the We'd have to we'd have to go check out the other mode. There's like live sightseeing like monuments and buildings and all that stuff. Be nice to go and see all that. Cause like how would you even know? If you're flying from a plane looking down, you might not even know what the hell you're looking at, so... It's already hard as it is to see uh, what's down there. We're at, uh, 66? We're at 66. Robertson Field. Yeah, we're getting there. That was that was a long journey. That was a very long journey. Holy crap. All the way from Three Rivers. Like, wouldn't it be cool maybe going to, uh, maybe like a Mount Everest flyby? Just, and because you can spawn there, like close to it, that'd be cool. It's, that'd be really cool. Go to like Eiffel Tower, Rome, see if you can see Coliseum maybe.
Yeah, that's crazy. Ten more nautical miles, and I will save again. And then we'll be down to our last fifty. This is a long ass journey. Holy cow! All right, we're getting close. Anything going on new with you, Blue? Anything else going on? Or got any plans today? We're almost at 50. I might let her roll. I might even go to 40 and save it.
Dreams are going for New Game Plus. I knew it. Fresh start, level one. Let's go. Oh, they, there's some bonus stuff? Okay, that's cool. Probably buff your guy though, he's probably really good now, eh? You got a bunch of level ups. Probably hope so. What is it, like a magic character or something? Something good, with a good ability? One shot bosses. <laughs> Magic, magic is OP and all like the Dark Souls and then Code Vein too. For some reason, like we should have just all went magic because you can kind of sit back and cast. We should have did all that. I went hardcore with the heavy hit weapons. And I don't know if that was good or not, but yeah, Code Vein was good though. It was good. It's just. Uh... Kind of like a baby Dark Souls. I don't know. One shot. Yeah, he. That I've never seen that anything like that. That big guy. He demol when I was with the random I matched with, he came into my invaded in and just destroyed. While I ran around screaming, I was like, "Help! Where's my team?" And he's wiping. Coming up to uh, 40 nautical miles. Need help over here. I'm down. Just walked into the boss fight and I'm down. Alright. 40 nautical miles. We're gonna pack her on up. Save again. We're getting close to the end. This has been quite, quite the journey. Like, 
I have not had to adjust the plane at all. It is on like a dead course. The wind is somehow not affecting us. changing a little green up there. I wonder if that is uh, Canada coming up or, or whatnot. I have no idea what is happening here. Like, I wish there was, there could be a map button that we're missing, but I would like to know. Five percent fuel left. I think we're going to be fine on the fuel. Uh, Thirty-six nautical miles out. We're getting there. Probably do another save when we get around ten, and then when we get in a little closer to, and then we'll try landing this bird down. Smooth landing on the first try. I can do it. No achievement, but I can do it. Draw distance is pretty good though, like it's just looking way out there. Now is the part of the trip I would say is uh, buckle up, go grab a drink, go to the washroom, do what you got to do because we're coming up for a big final soon. Uh, could go good, could go bad.
six nautical miles out. Um, it should be not too much longer, guys, before we land this bird. But yeah, I was thinking about uh, maybe with uh, my next COVID pay, I was thinking about spending some money, maybe getting an Oculus Rift S and then picking up on Steam Half-Life Alex. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna be the whole COVID check. It'll probably be 400-ish. But uh, I'm really tempted it because my computer can handle it now. And I would love to go back into the Half-Life world and uh, even if it's not the highest quality, even if it's just like, even if it's not ultra, even if it's high, medium, I would love casting that and doing a run through in VR on uh, Half-Life Alex. So I'm very tempted after a few games come out, it might be on the list of things to do. Um, so I'm looking uh, into that. I, I can't c confirm a date or when that would happen on stream, but I'm, I'm looking into it, uh, waiting for my opportunity to pounce. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I really, it's the only game I really missed out of the big biggies for 2020. And uh, I love that even if it's like a one shot, one playthrough only for all that. Uh, I would, I'd probably sell <laughs> sell the VR headset off later, but um, still, that would be something to check out. I would love to do that. Canada. We're in Canada. I know this. See all the turbines? All these turbines are by Windsor. And yeah, I think I think we're maybe past Rob Chatham and all that. coming up to it soon. But that looks familiar seeing all the silos spinning down there. That is definitely real. I can confirm that. coming to a close, guys. Positive. I recognize all those silos or turbines spinning. That is something I see on the 401 all the time. Coming back from London to Seattle. They have that. That is amazing detail. One 
Once we hit 15, I'm gonna make another save. We are almost done the journey. Wow. Took all afternoon. Tutorials and this, but that was quite a trip. And thanks everyone for just watching and following and hanging out. Good old Canadian road trip. Who's coming? Hell out of the U.S. Down to the last 15. Probably been through road the big any roads in your life to take. Which road will you take? Road dog Jesse James says I got two words for ya. Soccer! Okay, yeah, that, recognize that. Wow. It's crazy. Ten, I'm gonna save again. I just might push through it, maybe get down the five. 